Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going source into Ollie's. Surprise, surprise. We also have a pro tip and a sales recap. Hope you enjoy. Well, we're getting ready to head into this Ollie's. It has been over two weeks since I've been sourcing. And I have to tell you, I'm pretty excited about going in here. Uh, the anticipation of what might be in there I've done well in this Ollie's in the past. Pretty excited. Hope we can find some good stuff. Let's go see what we can find. Over in the toy aisle, not a lot of new things here and the things that are new. Ooh, I didn't see that one. I've got a bunch of these, but I can take one more. Uh, it's a little red, maybe not. But we do have this new item here. Attention, it's part of the Ghostbusters. Um, looks really good. I, I bought a bunch of these. We've got uh, a few months ago and uh, there's a lot of sellers but I feel pretty good about it for fourth so quarter so You're thinking sure about this for fourth quarter so when I scan it it has a 36,000 rank which is awesome for this time of year oh, 35 sellers selling for 1549 I will get it for 450 but when we look a little closer look at the fees the fees are almost $13 for this item. It might be a mistake, but I'm passing on this. Um, that's That kills all your profit right there with those fees. Well, we're heading down the food aisle and we found some Old Bay potato chips. Now, originally from Maryland, so these are a must. I will be grabbing a few of these. I'm going to continue down the food aisle looking for some, some items that I can sell. But I have backed off on the food. Um, expirations uh, are, are being tricky. So um, I'm, I'm being very selective on the foods that I pick. Well, I'm now in the automotive aisle. I'm not finding a lot of new stuff today. I have one cart full of things, but none of it's new. It's stuff that I've had before. Um, I just did a return. Um, with this item so just if you see these in the store I'd stay away from them uh, the chemical guys they have a great great rank but as soon as you get them we'll send you an IP complaint I've received I think four IP complaints and I question whether those IP complaints really do anything the letters that you get sent but I just decided to return them try to sell them on eBay they weren't selling on eBay. Um, Chemical Guys also has a store on eBay, so um, I wasn't able to compete with them. So this was the easiest thing. Um, and the, uh, the store's happy to get them back too because they just blow out. So they, they bring some good profit to the store also. And we have these wipes made by Gunk. And now looks pretty good. We've got a rank of 123,000, which isn't great, but it's still early in spring. So this is kind of a cleaning your car, summer item. Not bad on the sellers. Amazon's in the rank, or in the selling. But now look at what happens. Now the rank shot up to 400,000. So it's showing me 400,000 in rank there, but 123,000 in rank there. I do not know why it would do that. So I'm going to pass this. This just this just turned a really good item into a really sketchy item. So um, somebody else willing to take a gamble? There you go. And so we're in the toy aisle, and I found this Star Wars Mandalorian set. Really cool looking Hot Wheels set. Uh, the rank on it is around 400,000. So I passed it up, but then I sent a picture of this to my friend Kenny. And Kenny said he already has one of these. So my thinking is if Kenny has this, then I need this. So I'm buying six of them. It's a gamble. Fourth quarter item. I was also able to pick up two more of these Grogu's. Uh, I tell you, the rank on these isn't great. It's like three, four hundred thousand. Uh, the profit's there. I make about four or five dollars on each of these. So. 100% ROI, uh, but they're, they're slow movers. I am, I, I purchased a bunch of these about a year ago. I've sold a decent amount, but I still have some. And uh, I'm thinking fourth quarter, um, I'll be able to get rid of these. And also, 
It's important to note that there is another season of The Mandalorian. So I'm kind of banking on that too. So this is this is going to be a long hold, but I feel pretty confident that I'll be able to get uh, some profit out of these. Well, I just checked out uh, over a thousand dollars in spend, and now that's with my 15% off coupon that I used. Whenever I get those 15% coupons, my goal is to spend over a thousand dollars. So I think my at 1,300 was my spend, came down to uh, 1150. Um, a large portion of that spend was an item that I went in looking for. Um, that item I found through the Discord group that I'm, I belong to. That's a great item. It was a really good item. So uh, I'm probably going to be going to a couple other Ollies over the next couple days to see if I can find that. Uh, it doesn't expire. Good profit. Great sales rank. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, again, it, I got it through the Discord group, so I'm not going to share it on this video. I don't think that that would be very cool for me to do. But here is one that I will share. This spray chalk set selling for ten dollars i got it for 850. Um, the rank is a hundred and twenty one thousand not bad not bad and again summer is just starting this is spray chalk so this will be a pretty good summer item um i i got i used my 15 percent off coupon so i paid 850 for it i'm making over 12 dollars in profit now this is spray paint i'm probably going to have to send this in Separately, if I send it in as an FBA shipment, I will probably have to um, send that in through non-Amazon uh, shipment. Uh, so that adds a couple dollars on to the cost of the item, but that's all right. This is a pretty good item. Um, I'll probably try and sell some just Merchant Fulfilled, see how that goes. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty good item. So I was able to pick up a few of those. I picked up some chocolates too. Um, good expiration let me show you that uh, these harry and david uh, cherries this is an item you would have to uh it doesn't scan so you'd have to look it up and it doesn't expire until january of 24. i have done well with these in the past um but it's it's a merchant fulfilled thing so i may even hold these until say the end of september just so that I don't have to worry about the, the melting aspect. Um, because it, it is tricky. Sending items in um, that are meltable, it is tricky. And uh, I've been lucky so far. Um, so I just wanna, don't want to test my luck. So I am heading over to Ocean State. Going to run through there. Haven't been there for a while. Let's see what we can find in there. Well, I just checked out of Ocean State. $500 in spend. Not 100% ROI on some of the things, but the the pet food aisle, there's good stuff in there. Um, sometimes I've been, I've come up short in that the market gets flooded and the expiration comes along and, and I have to donate it, but that's only happened a couple times. The majority of the time, with the, the pet foods that I get from Ocean State, I'm able to sell at a def decent profit. I've got a couple items that have really good profit. We'll see. Heading home. Well, that concludes the sourcing trip for today. And now for today's pro tip. Today's pro tip comes to us by way of DJ. DJ wants to know how I prepare my merchant fulfilled meltables during meltable season. So here's what I do. First off, you need to know what meltables, for those of you that are new, what are meltables? Meltables are items that Amazon considers meltable. They will melt in warm seasons. Usually they're chocolates, but I have had deodorants that were classified as meltables, and I'm sure there's other things, maybe waxes, I don't know. Um, but definitely your chocolates are going to be meltables. Uh, meltable season is from April 15th, tax day, to, I think it's, yeah, it is, October 15th. So from April 15th to October 15th, you cannot send meltables into an Amazon warehouse. You just can't do it. You know, it, it'll, they, they won't let you create a shipment. But you can do merchant fulfilled. 
and I have done Merchant Fulfilled Meltables for the last two years. Again, this is my six year selling on Amazon. For the first four years, I just did FBA. I didn't do any Merchant Fulfilled. I didn't have time. I was teaching full time. I just didn't have time. Two years ago, I started doing Merchant Fulfilled. Here is one of the first items that I did Merchant Fulfill with. So we are looking at this first item right here, this 141 count Snickers can. Um, now, I was new to doing Merchant Fulfilled when I started selling these. Um, again, for, you know, I've been selling on Amazon for six years, but for the first four years of selling, I was FBA only. I had never done any Merchant Fulfilled. I just didn't have time for it. So this was two summers ago. I had just started doing Merchant Fulfilled. So it looks as though I created a couple different listings with this Snickers, I guess. So it's this 141 count. So you've got this one here, this one, this one, and this one. So it looks like we've got 27 plus 8, 35, 39. So roughly 100 of them. Um, is is what I sold. I sold a hundred of these tubs and you can see my profit over here with those. So I know that there, there's another listing also that has these. Bottom line is I did over $3,000 in profit, in profit with these Snickers tubs. I lost one because of heat, just one. And I didn't do anything special. I did not pack these in ice. I did not pull cool packs in them. I was not even particularly paying attention to when there was heat waves. Um, I ran out of these in July. So um, that may have been a reason why I didn't get a whole lot of turns. Uh, just because um, when the hot months were really hitting in August, I was out of stock. So this is uh, one of the items, one of the meltables that has been very good to me. So those Snickers, they were good to me. They were real good to me. And there's another listing somewhere in Inventory Labs. Again, I, I was very new to making Merchant Fulfilled um, listings. So I, I think I kept creating new listings. Every time I went to list them, I created a new listing. So I actually sold 135 of them. I know that I had over $3,000 in profit. So the short answer, do I do Merchant Fulfilled with Meltables? Damn right I do. There's some good profit in doing meltables over the summer. Is it risky? I had one return on those Snickers. Over 130 containers, I had one return. Well, it wasn't return. It was a, a refund request. I got a message from a customer that they were a melted blob by the time they received them, and I just gave them a refund. Um, but only one out of 130. That's pretty good. Now, last year, I had a little bit more issues with meltables last year. Um, there was a Snickers pack that I did. It was a variety pack. And then there was a couple other chocolates that, that I did. And decent profit. But I had a number of, I won't call them complaints. I had a number of messages from customers that they were melted by the time they got them. And I just gave them a refund. I still did really well in profit-wise. Um, so here's what I started to do to compensate for my losses. First off, I've tried the cold packs. They last 36 hours. Packages take between five and seven days to get there. They're not, and the majority of the, of the heat problem, it happens on the final 10% of the journey, sitting in front, sitting on the front porch of the customer's house or in the UPS truck on the way to the customer's house. That's where the most of the heat that gets introduced to the product. So those cold packs, they don't do anything except add weight and increase your shipping. I tried them. I, I didn't think that they were a benefit at all. <clears throat> so here's what I do. When I am selling meltables, I pay attention to the weather. If I see that there's a heat wave coming across the majority, a good portion of the United States. I set all my inventory to zero. 
until the heat wave was gone. And then I made them active again. Um, that seemed to work pretty good. Now, sometimes you have these isolated heat waves in California or in you know, Nevada or New Mexico. If, if that happened and I saw that I was selling something to that area, I would just cancel the sale. I would email the customer and let them know why I'm canceling it. And I have had a couple emails from customers thanking me for doing that. You know, they thought it was a very smart thing to do. So that's how I handle chocolates. Um, I am looking to downsize my Merchant Fulfilled this summer, not because of any meltable problem. It's just things I want to do. So I hope that you find that helpful with for today's pro tip. And again, thanks, DJ, for that. Um, next, here is your sales recap. So I'm recording this sales rec report um, on Saturday at 8.30 at night. And about 12 hours ago at 8 o'clock in the morning, I did, a repri I did my repricing. Um, I do not have a repricer. I have debated as to whether I wanted to get a repricer or not. Um, with the number of listings that I have, I've got time. I, I'm just opting just to do it manually. I'm, I'm happy with the way that this is working for me. Um, so I did do some repricing this morning uh, with items that um, were close to the buy box. I changed by, you know, a couple cents or a dollar or two, depending on the item. Um, and there was also a number of items that I needed to, uh, I just needed to get out of my inventory. I had had them over uh, 90 days in Amazon and I did not want the fees to accrue. More importantly, I didn't want to get my IPI um, index, I didn't want to take a hit. So some of the items that I sold, um, I sold uh, not for a lot of, uh, or not, not a lot of profit. And in one case, I actually sold for a loss. And I'll share that with you in a bit. So going across the top, we've got a little over $1,100 in sales, 50 items for today. Uh, my current balance is uh, around $1,100. And I get paid next on June 5th. Uh, you can see that my sales so far for the month are almost 14000 Now, my goal for the month is 16000 So I have four full days left in May to get to 16000 So it's a little over uh, $2,000 um, in four days. So roughly $525 is what I need to do in sales to make my goal of 16000 so can I do sixteen thousand? Can I make two thousand dollars in the next four days? Um, yeah, sure. I have made over five hundred dollars in profit in four or five days consecutively. Have I done it on a holiday weekend? No. So this this I don't know if I'm gonna make this goal of sixteen thousand this month. That's okay. Um, had eighteen thousand last month, so it averages out. So let's take a look at some of the items that I have sold today. So first off, we have this Olay Detox Facial Scrub. Uh, it's about $5 profit on that one. Uh, this 3D um, Crest Whitening Toothpaste. I, I sell a decent amount of toothpaste, and this is one of them that I just sent in. Uh, I think they're maybe $8, $9 profit, so that's 100% ROI. bought it for $9. I sold one of the uh, Mandalorian. Um, items the the uh, baby Yodas it's for sixteen dollars cost me four fifty so I'm making about four or five dollars on that hundred percent ROI uh, this blue buffalo uh, the blue buffalo um, I've got a decent amount of it and I'm going to hold it for a while it doesn't expire until next spring but I sent these in and now Amazon is on the listing. And you know, I just, I wanted to get it off my inventory. It had been in there a while. I've got three cases of them in there. So uh, it cost me $17. It's $14 in fees. So I'm making $8 per case of dog food. So 50% ROI. I'm, I'm happy with that. You know, not, not everything's going to be a home run, guys. And you have to accept that. Not everything's going to be a home run. Uh, speaking of home runs... This facial scrub, this Olay facial scrub, I'm selling it as a four pack. Cost me ten eighty. That's right, 
1080 is what four packs of those scrubs cost i'm pretty sure that's what it was 2.99 each pretty sure and uh yeah that's about 30 dollars profit right there that's almost 300 percent profit on those olay daily facial scrubs and i've had those probably a little over a year so that's that that has been a long no no you know i got them last summer so 10 months 11 months uh the suave three pack i'm only making a couple dollars on that uh, the market is really flooded with those right now, and I just want to get those out of Amazon's inventory. Uh, this Elsa wand, that's probably about $12 profit on that one. That's a good item. There's some more Suave. Um, same thing with this Herbal Essence. Uh, this item, you know, I just I, I wanted to get it out of the inventory. Uh, this Neutrogena Mist. These are really flooding the market right now. So I've got a three-pack in, and I've got individual Neutrogena um, suntan sprays. And I'm making a couple dollars on them, but I really just want to get my inventory out before the price goes down anymore. And I'll just wait till the end of the summer to sell, sell them. I've had a lot of success in selling suntan lotions and sprays and other SPF stuff. I've had really good success selling them in July and August. And then we have some more of those, um, the, the, this three-pack mousse. Uh, what am I making on that? That is, I think I'm making $4. Yeah, uh, my cost is $5.40, $10 in, in fees and shipping. I'm making $4, 75% ROI. That's not bad. So that is the sales recap. Well, you know, no, it's not the sales recap. Let's take a look at our seller. We're not selling too much seller. Um Merchant Fulfilled. So we've got these three Dove Valentine hearts. These are chocolates, $14 each. They cost me $3, $3.05, I think. So I've got um, uh, $25 in profit there. And then with these Oral-B floss, um, um, floss picks. This is a good item. Cost me 90 cents. So those are the sales for today. So I hope you enjoyed that sales recap. A uh, couple announcements. Announcements num announcement number one. Uh, so I opened up my channel to channel membership, uh, I think a month ago. And for those of you that have joined the channel, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Uh, I am working on getting that AMA, uh, the Ask Me Anything video. Uh, that I'm, I'll be uh, dropping to you guys uh, on June 1. June 1 at 8 o'clock in the morning, I will uh, drop that. And I've also added a couple other things. Um, just things that I thought are important to know. They're helpful. Uh, so uh, you'll be getting that on June 1. And that's my current plan. Uh, for those of you that are members, that the first of so the, the, the last week of the month, I'll put the AMA statement out there. And then I'll make the video and I'll release it the first of every month. So the second thing. So the second thing is, is, is the next video or two or three, it depends on how the time works, is not going to be Amazon related or sourcing related in any way. Um, my family and I are going to a fan expo this week next weekend uh, for those of you who don't know a fan expo it's the same thing as a comic-con um so we're going to this fan expo uh i'm a nerd i like nerdy things and i'm going to make a video of the nerdy things that i think are pretty cool hope you check it out and um i think that concludes this video for today bella's doing great our other two uh, rescue dogs are doing great. Had a great day playing out in the pond today. So life is good. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please hit that like button. It's a big help. If you have any questions, post in the comment section. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, obviously subscribe to my channel. That's a big help also. Thanks. Have a great day.